Alright guys, so welcome to the wonderful world of Tinkercad. So I'm going to show you a few different things to make you more proficient with the overall use of Tinkercad. And um, in this video lesson, we're going to basically describe to you how to use the camera controls, how to make a file name, just the very fundamental basics to get you up and running. So the first thing I want you to do is, the very first initial thing I want you to take care of is your file name. You need to change your file name. Now in order to do that, all you need to do is go up here to the top side of Tinkercad and you click on usually it gives you some kind of like gibberish for file name I'm not exactly sure how this happens or why it works or an explanation behind it but we can't exactly deal with that whenever we're dealing with saving files and creating new 3D files it's just really confusing especially when you try to send and submit something to me I have no idea who belongs to them. so whenever you're creating something within Tinkercad it's really crucial that you go through and rename your file so in order to do that you go up to the fictitious or whatever file name you see up here and type in your first and last name and usually what I like to say is do that alongside of whatever you're creating so for me I'm just gonna put up here Mr. N and then a dash and if I'm making like maybe a phone stand or a minifig project I type in whatever project it is that I'm making and after you're done all you need to do is save it is click on the outside and as soon as that little box disappears it should have saved your file um, the nice thing about Tinkercad is with everything it's basically like a Google Doc in a way um, whenever you create an object or make manipulations or do anything within Tinkercad and a file it auto saves so 99% of the time it does so there's always a 1% chance that it does have a small glitch but normally we don't have to worry about that next thing we want to learn about are the camera controls they're all located on the left hand side of the screen over here so this box will come into play as well as all these little icons down here which I will talk about in just a little bit so first and foremost whenever we're creating something in Tinkercad remember we're creating a three-dimensional object so whenever creating a three-dimensional object you cannot just view it from one side because that would be one dimension or you can, you basically would be limited in whatever you see so in order to expand our horizons what we need to do is learn how to basically take our camera and move it around first and foremost before I even talk about this if you have access to a mouse a computer mouse in some way shape or form it's gonna make you highly proficient and a lot faster at Tinkercad and I'll talk about those things a little bit later um, if you don't have a mouse that's perfectly fine you'll just use a touchpad uh, first thing we're gonna talk about is just the touchpad commands uh, over here on the left hand side a few icons I'm just gonna talk about right here this is basically how we're viewing our object so this is kind of like the home view so if you ever would like change the view from the side or top or whatever it may be if you click on the home it always brings you back to this view where you're looking at just this corner wherever it's highlighted if you click on that view it'll take you to that exact view so if I want to look at the top I click on the top on um, the front side or the corner that side just like that and you just keep rotating around and it will show you different views you can also click and hold and drag and it will go in different directions as well now if you want to do this with a mouse all you do is simply right click and hold that right click down and drag your mouse around and it does the same exact thing touchpad you cannot do that alright next thing I want to teach you about is if you need to zoom in or zoom out there's a few different things you can do right here on the left hand side the plus and minus they are your zoom in and zoom out buttons if you click once it zooms in one increment you click the minus it zooms out one increment at a time you can also do this with your mouse using the roller so if you have a roller on the top of your mouse if you roll it in towards an object it will zoom in roll it out the exact opposite it rolls out if you ever get in a situation where you want to go back to your home position what we're gonna call it basically the first thing we saw initially you click on this little house button the home view and it will take you exactly where you want to go or let's say for example you zoom out way too far and you want to fill your entire screen with your object you click fit all in view and I guess when you don't have an object it doesn't work but when you have an object it does work and you can also view it from like an isometric view or an orthographic view as well if you need to so those are the different views we basically will need to work on and work with and it's really crucial that you know how to do all this proficiently because once we start working on Tinkercad it's really important and it all really matters in the end